Hi there, pre-algebra students. This is our video on the distributive property and combining like terms. And this is our first step at getting towards solving equations with variables on both sides of the equal sign. So, let's start with what's the difference between these three words. So, let's take a look at what we're talking about here. This first word is evaluate. Evaluate, which means plug in the replacement values for the variables and then simplify to find the numerical value of the expression. That's what evaluate means specifically. How is simplify different? Simplify means do all the math you can do until you can't do any more. I think we've addressed this in a previous video. But now we also have solve. That means find an unknown value, usually a variable. Please try to think before you use these words and try to use them correctly. We solve equations and then before you know it we'll also be solving inequalities okay we can simplify expressions we can simplify expressions we can simplify algebraic expressions or numerical expressions and we can also evaluate expressions so really that shouldn't have been in blue it should have been yellow and red but you get what I'm trying to say so try to use these words correctly in an algebraic expression, what makes two terms what we call like terms, meaning that they are the same kind of term. Now, first of all, what's a term? Well, let's remember 3x plus 7 plus 2y. Each of these separately is a term. They're separated by addition and subtraction signs. So 3x is a term, 7 is a term, and 2y is a term. So what makes expressions like terms? Like terms have the same variable with the same exponent. Now you're not going to see exponent differences in this class. You're going to see that in Algebra 1. But I went ahead and made you two examples. One with just regular you know, first degree exponents here. And then one that there's something different. So in this expression right here, we've got like terms 3x and x. And then we have like terms 7 and 2. So when they're like terms, they have the same variable and the same exponent. And what we are supposed to do here is we are supposed to simplify. And that means we are actually combining the like terms together. So I want to take these two I underlined in red, 3x plus 1x, and that becomes 4x. Take these two that I'm adding that are blue, 7 plus 2, and that's positive 9. So this expression, when you simplify it, has a value of 4x plus 9. This next one down here, the like terms are a little different. You got 3x and minus x squared. You got 2x and plus 7x. And then you got this guy by himself, which is minus 4. So again, like terms can be combined. If I have 3x squared and I take away 1x squared, I now have 2x squared. And if I have 2x and add 7x, I now have 9x. And then I got this guy hanging on that I can't do anything with. So I want you to notice a couple of things. I am not adding the 4 and the 9 together. This is 4x's plus 9 units. 4x's plus 9 units. I don't know what x is. x could be anything. x could be a, a value that um, I'm just substituting in different values for in a different circumstance, different value. So when we add this together, we can't go any further. These are not like terms because this doesn't have the variable. So when you combine like terms, you can only combine the ones that are the same. Recall what the distributive property is. To multiply a sum or a difference by a number, mul that should be multiply, do -de do multiply, each term in the parentheses by the number outside the parentheses. So in this particular example first, right here, 5 times 12 and 5 times 4, but that's ridiculous because that's not what people do. What people do, sound like a Geico commercial, what people do is they add, then they multiply because that's what makes the best sense when there's a numerical expression. But the distributive property was turned, you know, was, was written down and was used not for numerical expressions. It, this isn't really what the distributive property is about. No, no. These are right down here. With the variable, 
Excuse me. Oh, early morning video making. Sorry. I have the danger of yawns. Okay. This x right here plus 4 can't be simplified. I can't add the x and the 4. Let's stop and think. x plus 4 and x times 4 are not the same. They are not equivalent. So you can't just say 4x. So they don't go together. So the reason for the distributive property is being able to distribute out that 5. 5x plus 20. Or, in the, like in the case of this one, a negative 5. Negative 5x plus negative 20. But I'm not going to write plus negative 20. I'm going to write minus 20. Because that's the better way to write it. Same idea over here. Distributing. This time over a difference. Notice here, it's over a sum. And here it's over a difference. So negative 5 times x, negative 5x. Negative 5 times a minus 2, positive 10. We don't need any extra symbols, so get in the habit of writing it that, um, that way. Uh, in, in this case, positive 5 times the difference. 5 times x, 5x. 5 times minus 2, minus 10. So with the distributive property, this is actually, you know, this is actually the point. Variables, algebraic expressions, that's the reason we have the distributive property. Not this. So I get upset when they insist on making examples that are just numerical like that. And I teach it that way too, but that's because the state does. So it was one of those pet peeves of Miss LeCompte's um, angry math teacher. Me. All right, but let's try some more problems. Let's combine some like term combining and distributive property here. If you think you've got this down, why don't you pause it and try them out and then see how you did. If you don't, just go ahead and watch me do them. Okay, let's underline. Uh, in, in fact, instead of underlining the like terms, I'm going to put a little box around the ones that are the same. And I'm going to put a little triangle around the one that's not the same. So let's take and combine my like terms. 5y and 2y is 5 plus 2y or 7y and then plus 3. Do not try to go further. If you wrote down 10y, you're doing it wrong. You weren't paying attention. Go back and rewatch. Next one. Let's make a little circle around these like terms. And then let's put a little, um, well, we'll just keep it kind of consistent around these like terms. Ah, except I made a mistake. I want you to think of a minus 10 as if it's a negative 10, and a minus 3 as if it's a negative 3. And when you combine the like terms here, n plus 9n, and that's 1n, 1n plus 9n, that's 10n. Minus 10 and minus 3 is like adding negative 10 and negative 3. It's negative 13. So this is where learning that subtraction is just uh, the same thing as negative numbers is helpful. Okay, next one. <clears throat> All right, 4x, let's circle that, and 2x, oh, different variables. And yes, these make different terms. They are not like terms with one another. So I'll get this one and this one. So negative 4x plus 2x, think negative 4 plus 2, that's negative 2, so negative 2x. 2y and 3y, 2 plus 3, 5y. Okay, so this one's different. In this one, I have to distribute first. So let's do that. So 9 times 5 plus 9 times t. 9 times 5 is 45 plus 9 times t, which is 9t. Minus 6 times t is minus 6t. And minus 6 times a plus 3 is minus 18. Think negative 6 times positive 3. Now go through and identify your like terms. The numbers are like terms, so positive 45 minus 18. And the variable terms are like terms, 9t minus 6t. So what do we get? 9 minus 6 is 3t. 45 minus 18, 45 minus 20, it would be 25, add 2, 27. 3t plus 27. All right, last one of these. Got to distribute. So what's what's going on here? Random floating negative sign, right? Oh, oh, invisible one. 
Invisible ones pop up all over, don't they? So that's a negative 1 distributed through m plus 3. Let's do it. Negative 1 times m, negative 1m. I don't need the 1. Negative 1 times 3, negative 3. Let's do this one. Negative 2 times m, negative 2m. Negative 2 times a negative 2, or negative 2 times minus 2, positive 4. All right, like terms, like terms, like terms. Minus m, minus 2m will be like terms. And minus 3, supposed to be a triangle, came out a little funky, plus 4 are like terms. So what do we get? Minus m and minus 2m. Let's look at that real quick. Minus m and minus 2m. So minus 1 and minus 2 added together, or negative 1 and negative 2 is negative 3 m, and the negative 3 added to a positive 4 is positive 1. So hopefully if you did them on your own you came up with the same answers. We'll be practicing a great deal with this in class. Alright, see you guys in class.